And as the sun rises, uh, so are we beginning a new episode in, of our Minecraft series. Hello everyone and welcome back in a new episode of our Minecraft series. So, uh, last episode we built uh, the map room, or war council room, or war room, uh, whatever you may like to call it. So, uh, uh, you can see I've gone ahead and added a very little details, not too much. I've yet uh, to complete it, I'm not satisfied, mainly for this uh, blank uh, slope in the inside. But you can see that there are some chiseled bookshelves in here and we no longer have our zombie villager in here. Instead, you can hear it, uh, we have now an inhabitant up on the second floor. This is George. Hello George. I use it to trade maps uh, because uh, you can just straight away for one emerald acquire a map, an empty map. You can see here that we now have access to two very juicy maps, <laughs> very interesting, and it is what we are going to do later on in today's episode. We are going to, uh, on with the Ocean Explorer map. I want to uh, find the Ocean Monument. And since uh, this uh, map points to the nearest structure of this type, we can safely assume that this is the closest and therefore we can also work on implementing some connections, uh, uh, connect, uh, hooking up uh, uh, that, uh, well, first of all exploring this uh, uh, ocean monument and then hooking it up uh, via the nether to our home. I've gone ahead and completed the map, this is now saved the map at the 42nd episode. Uh, in today's episode we are going to do three things. First of all we are going to design the banners and for that we will be jumping straight in, we will be jumping shortly into our creative testing world for actually designing some banners. I already have some ideas, I want to discuss them thoroughly with you. After that, we will have to move two villagers uh, into the logging camp because I've prepared another house and most of all, I want to move down there the cows that we are currently have here in front of the enchanted tower. I've prepared a larger pen, that way we can also farm, well, breed uh, the cows and get some additional leather. And then last but not least, if we manage to make time, we, could, we can also go and explore the uh, ocean monument as I've uh, already announced. So, uh, blabbering aside, uh, let's uh, jump straight into our creative testing world and let's have a look for some banner design. Here we are in our uh, testing world. So you can see there, over there we have the previous episode's test, <laughs> the bridge and the map room. So, uh, I've already went ahead and prepared, uh, well, laid down a couple of things that we will need. I, as I mentioned in the last episode, go to go watch the last episode if you have missed it. Uh, I wanted to design two banners. So, uh, one is going to be the castle banner, which uh, basically we are going to spread out. Uh, it's, it's going to represent our castle, our noble house. <laughs> and the other one is going to be our religion banner. And for that, we are we have to see what uh, I want to do. Uh, I have already have some ideas in mind. For example, for the castle banner, I want definitely to use, as I said in the last episode, purple and yellow, since we already have our uh, bedroom windows and our beacon, which are of these colors. And uh, for the theme of the banner itself, I, w I was thinking, since our castle is on a hilltop, we're going for a mountain or a, or a hill, mountain uh, slash hill, and I want obviously uh, having the castle on top, I want either to draw the castle, like a tower or something, or uh, all the sun. It's going to be very, very basic as a, as a, as requirements, but it's nice to have already an idea. For example, well, we have the yellow if we were to make the sun, or 
it's probably it's highly likely if we will need a tower either uh, dark gray or light gray and uh, for uh, well we could for the background you could, could use purple and maybe blue I would say or oh cyan cyan is definitely better for for example because we can use it as a sort of sky if we were to draw the the tower in front uh, the sun uh, or uh, some border in the back and we have the sign I think this makes for a nice palette okay uh, I went ahead and made some designs <laughs> well I want to show you I've designed both the that is for the let's say moon cult and this one is for our castle so I started first off by using, since I wanted to include the sun behind a, ta a hilltop tower, me symbolizing our very first house, which if you don't remember, go look, uh, go watch the third episode, should be, uh, we built a tower on the topmost point of uh, the, the cliff we are currently uh, living on. And so I started, well, first with the sun as a daisy, uh, and then I've just uh, inserted the tower. I especially, I f at first I didn't d add in this uh, chevron on top of it, but uh, it looks uh, just that little bit better with it uh, rather than without it. And then we add in the hill and the border. So this was the original design. On this behind, instead, I've just inverted. Instead of using cyan as the base, I used purple. And I like it much more because it stands much more out the yellow of the sun on the purple backfield. Although, after a couple of designs, uh, trying to decide which uh, border, which indented border would look better, I've tried and used uh, the circle and the losange as uh, as the sun rather than the daisy because if we were to use for example a yellow border uh, with the daisy it would all get messed up this is the design i, I like the most of the five uh, that we tried well the, the various so the trials that we did i tried also an alternative uh, so this here you can see basically we have the tower on the side and the sun always backward but i'm not much convinced of this design here looking instead to the cold banner i was much more successful i like it much more you can see here the entire pattern well the entire process that went into achieving the final design which is this one and I've also tried and tested a couple of uh, uh, variants. You can see here, I've, I had tried to experiment uh, having the new moon at the sea, uh, but I especially like this design because it's the, the white behind may look like stars, but may also look like uh, uh, the enchanted, uh, well, the intergalactic alphabet, which is the enchanting language of Minecraft, and which uh, all adds a little bit of that uh, magic feeling to the banner that uh, the otherwise uh, the whole banner lacks. So that was for uh, banner designs. Let me know uh, in the comments or wherever which you prefer for the two uh, or. Well, okay, so here we are in our home. I've already went ahead and prepared uh, two villagers that we are to send out to the village. I've already also laid out the the rail that is going to take uh, the villagers to their place. So, okay, you, here you go. One is on the way. Also, the second one is going out and. We are following them with our own minecart. And here we have it. Okay, so we now have a, a leather worker, or a tanner, and the butcher. So these are set. And additionally, we have also. Uh, well, allow me to just uh, dispose of these items like this was a little bit of a hassle bringing down and correctly 
setting <laughs> each and every villager. But now we can eat some fr freshly homemade stew. <laughs> Well, uh, right now I'm not hungry. Okay, and we do. We also have some leather. So uh, I'll just put this here and get a couple of slabs, sticks. Like this, and we can make a couple of ammo stands for us to display the actual leather that uh, our leather worker sells. Obviously, uh, we are not going to use it all that much, but it's nice to have, uh, and I'll work on it off camera, level it up. Um, at the maximum because they usually sell some nifty things with just now we can get rid of all this dirt and I can also show you that uh, I've added in another yet another villager uh, which is uh, the shepherd because one of these two villagers that I had carried down for the witcher uh, instead chose to become a shepherd so I left him there and I brought down a third one. Okay, like this. Now everything is nice and clean. And over here we have yes, uh, here's the the shepherd, which uh, oh sells shears. Well, we now have the enchanted ones, so we don't need them. But as as per our usual, it's always n nice to have. Uh, an additional villager that is milling around. Okay, we can leave this here. Now, the last thing that we need to do is to bring down the cows, and we are done for moving, moving entities around the house, and we can go on an exploration session. Okay, our first little cow raised here in the logging camp. <laughs> And well, uh, now that we have basically completed everything that we were going to do, we can get back up to our castle and uh, start working on the well, preparing for our exploration session. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Uh, okay, we are almost ready for. Starting our exploration session, we are just lacking well, a couple of uh, milk buckets, uh, which I'll just uh, harvest on the road. We we'll just have uh, the first cow we meet, we'll, we'll have to milk it for some milk. And the last, most important piece we, uh, it is given here by our trusty George, which is an ocean explorer map. Uh, all maps always point to towards the same uh, structure, so we don't need more than one. Ooh, and it seems it's already quite close by, by the looks of it. Yes. Okay, uh, we have to leave here these emeralds, we don't need them. And off we go. We have everything we need. Uh, Food, I've already stashed up a couple of things, tridents, uh, uh, water breathing potions, although now that I think about it, we should be able to craft a conduit, uh, mm, yes, heart of the sea, and since we are going in uh, uh, an ocean monument, there should be plenty of prismarine to build, yes, uh, to build it with... Uh, Conduit! Uh, our first conduit, we are going to use it uh, for the actual ocean monument. So uh, let's be on our way and uh, start with uh, the journey. There it is! You can see the sea lanterns over there. Now, what are we going to do? And it, should, it is even quite nearby. Uh, we now have, well, 
we needed the milk because uh, there are the Elder Guardians, which are a major pain in the backside. So uh, the strategy here is uh, jumping in, getting close to the monument without dying uh, to the normal Guardians, and uh, entering the actual uh, monument and killing one, uh, well, one at a time each Elder Guardian. Ooh. Once the Elder Guardians are gone, the exploration gets way easier because we can just uh, run around and the the only uh, enemy is are going to be normal guardians but by breaking the line of sight we don't uh, have to worry about their beings in this occasion we can also uh, have a first trial of our trident uh, since Clearing the actual uh, ocean monument was uh, uh, quite a quick task, so I just, uh, you guys, you can see here, uh, basically reached the the ocean monument, and then the first thing I, I did uh, was just to uh, explore the the actual monument. Uh, the labyrinth structure is a little bit uh, finicky to uh, navigate, but uh, not too much. So I just had to go around and uh, kill, well, slay the three. Uh, elder Guardians that are uh, distributed in fixed positions in each and every monument. Two on the sides and one at the, at the top. Dead! Now we can drink our milk bucket. We are going to lose the water breathing effect, but that's not that of an issue because we have the conduit. Down we go. And should activate. There it is! Oh, here it is, the treasure room! Gold for us! Uh, well, we do not, we are not that poor that we require especially gold, but it's always a nice feature. Since uh, uh, in the upcoming episodes we are going definitely to build uh, a piglin trading hall. Now, the last thing that remains to pillage from the the ocean monument is the sponge room that we've encountered pre previously and after that we're done i don't know if there's a chance that there might be no sponge room i'm not sure about that uh yes let's do it like that unfortunately i forgot to carry the obsidian for me otherwise we could have just built a portal straight away well well I'll have to do a couple of more trips so very easy very fast first room gone but I don't think this was the room we've encountered previously Welcome back! So, uh, as the sun is rising, we are concluding, actually, our episode, not starting, <laughs> because uh, we managed to clear out uh, the ocean monument, and here's the loot. Well, uh, 29 sponges, which is good, not exactly perfect, but uh, I don't mind it, because uh, we won't be needing that much sponges but it, uh, it's nice to have a, a, a little bit a couple of them just to be on the safe side in the extreme case I for example had to uh, dry out uh, a cane that's going to be useful well the eight blocks that uh, belong to the treasury and well the rest is uh, mostly either junk or just uh, random blocks and uh, we managed to clear out the, the ocean monument, and so it means that the uh, Prismarine Farm is on the horizon. Well, Prismarine Farms are very, very time expensive, so I don't know where I'll manage to fit that in. I might start working it off camera, I'll work uh, a little bit here and there. It's going to be a big project. So, uh... Well, uh, for the first time in quite a while, we won't be concluding the episode. 
uh, in front of our usual signboard. This is because I want to uh, finish a couple of things off camera in the in the actual ocean monument without me having to go back and forth continuously. So uh, I thank you for for having followed me until this moment. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed uh, this episode and be sure to check the previous one and obviously the, there is the playlist uh, I each and every episode I always put in the suggestion look at the entire playlist the, all the episodes are here <laughs> but uh, it's not imperative that you have to look them I will be very much grateful if you do that but it's not a it's not uh, that important you can see that just but obviously you are, go you are going to miss out on how everything came to be how my castle came to be so uh my rambling aside thank you once more for following um, until this moment and i will be waiting for you as always in the next episode Bye bye <laughs>